Definition 2.6 is the definition of a Markov chain. For random variables x1, x2 up to xn, where n is bigger than or equal to 3, x1, x2 up to xn forms a Markov chain in this order if p x1, x2 up to xn is equal to p x1, x2, p x3 given x2, all the way to p x n given x n minus 1. If p x2, p x3, all the way to p x n minus 1 is bigger than 0. Note that if these probabilities are not bigger than 0, then the conditional probabilities are not defined. Otherwise, p x1, x2 up to x n is equal to 0. Here's a remark. x1, x2, x3 forms a Markov chain in this order is equivalent to the condition that x1 is independent of x3 given x2. Proposition 2.7 says that x1, x2 up to xn forms a Markov chain in this order if and only if xn, xn minus 1 up to x1 forms a Markov chain. Basically, it says that if you have a Markov chain in a certain order, if you reverse the order, then it is still a Markov chain. The proof of this proposition is left as an exercise. Proposition 2.8 says the following. x1, x2 up to xn forms a Markov chain if and only if the following sequence of Markov chains holds. First, we have the Markov chain x1, x2, x3, and then the Markov chain x1, x2 as a pair, and then x3 and x4. And all the way to the last Markov chain x1, x2 up to xn minus 2 as a group of random variables, and then xn minus 1, and then xn forms a Markov chain. The proof of this proposition is left as an exercise. Proposition 2.9 says that x1, x2 up to xn forms a Markov chain if and only if p x1, x2 up to xn can be factorized as some function f1 of x1, x2, f2 of x2, x3, all the way to fn minus 1 of xn minus 1, xn. For all x1, x2 up to xn, such that p x2, p x3, all the way to p xn minus 1 is positive. Note that Proposition 2.9 is a generalization of Proposition 2.5 that we have seen before. Proposition 2.10 is about Markov subchains. This proposition looks a little complicated, but in fact the idea is very simple. Let n sub n be the index set containing the integers 1, 2 up to n, and we let x1, x2 up to xn form a Markov chain. For any subset alpha of the index set, denote the collection of random variables xi, i in alpha, by x alpha. Then, for any disjoint subsets alpha 1, alpha 2, up to alpha m of the index set, such that k1 is less than k2 is less than all the way to km, for all kj in alpha j, j equals 1, 2, up to m, we have the Markov chain x sub alpha 1 x sub alpha 2 all the way to x sub alpha m. That is, a subchain of x1, x2 up to xn is also a Markov chain. We leave the proof of this proposition as an exercise. The condition that these disjoint subsets alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha m need to satisfy is illustrated in this figure. If this condition is satisfied, then we have the Markov chain x sub alpha 1, x sub alpha 2, up to x sub alpha m.